What's up everybody, my name is Fluffy and welcome back to the Game Zone Pokemon Shield Part 10. Um, so in the last episode we defeated uh, Kobu, uh, if I remember his name correctly. Hang on, get rid of that. Cool. <coughs> yeah, we defeated Kobu, who was the fire gym leader. Um, and the third gym leader, so we now have three gyms down out of eight. Um, I haven't done any grinding like I have in um, previous uh, the previous episode. Well, literally, this is just coming straight off of the last uh, video. So hopefully, we're still at a decent level to continue with uh, grinding through this game. Hurry it up! Huh? <laughs> You're the gym leader, but you still came all the way to see us off. Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who will become the next champion, yeah? Oh, Kabu. Sorry, not Kobu. There are many trainers who never managed to get together free gym badges. And they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make a point to see off any trainer who are able to f trainers who are able to defeat me. Oh, it's the other two as well. Woo, we made it! Thank goodness for flying taxes. Congratulations, it's pretty amazing you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challengers are able to get a gym badge from Kabu. We like to get together to see them off as a way of showing our support. That's really cool that in you know the gym leaders they show a lot of respect. So, allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 hop. You can do it, you can do it, Kyle. What the hell was that? Though gym leaders you will face ahead are all tough opponents, but I believe that you can prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing through. Thanks, you all. We're going to keep winning. We've got it. We've got to if we want to face off in the Champion Cup, after all. Come on, let's head for Hammerlock. Okay. So Hammerlock, like I said, is that town where in that uh, infamous episode I, could, I got completely lost. Oh, it's raining. Hello again, Wild Area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. <clears throat> Hammerlock is up that way. Got it? And yeah, you could certainly rush straight there without a single detour. But now that you and I have a few gym badges, we should be able to catch stronger Pokemon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill in my next page in the tale of my legend. Don't... Oh, it's this guy. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you would ever make it through the gym challenge anyway. Champion really must have been off his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hop here can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Rubbish! More like you don't know enough to recognize greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest, and my bro is the fi finest champion the world has ever seen. I'm not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand just how weak you are. You're on then! I know you challenged Carl to battle in the Galar Mine number two and lost to him there. And I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this prattle about Kyle and the champion and whatnot, do you not have anything of your own to show? Such an asshole, this guy. I'll show you this Wally my real skills in battle. So see you later. Let's meet up in Hammerlock when I'm through. With him. Okay. And just like that, they're gone. Okay then, so we're back in the Wildlands. This is where I was when I um, pretty much grinded up to the level of my Pokemon. 
And to be honest, we're still at pretty decent levels already. So I uh, don't think I'm going to need to really do that much more grinding. No. We'll head straight to Hammerlock. We'll see what happens there. Garbodor! Oh, I figured out. Uh, I thought any one of these, uh, you did a battle, but it's not. It's the ones with the beam, so if you click on it, you get energy. And that's how you get those watts. Um, it probably did tell you, I just didn't really look properly. But yeah, all the ones with the red beams are the ones that you actually can do a Dynamax battle. Uh, they're really uh, the best way to level up, because the items it gives you, you can just power them into your Pokemon. And uh, it like bum bumps up their XP and levels and stuff. Uh, you can get some that are different to the red beams, so like sort of purple type beams. I don't know what they exactly do different. I'm guessing they give you just more rewards and stuff. So uh, if you're playing the game and you're new to it and you're watching these videos, I really suggest uh, spending some time going around these uh, beams. And uh, it's pretty much the way to level up. If you don't want to spend a lot of time battling wild Pokemon uh, for, for small amounts of XP. Uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, uh, even these beam things you can add to your Pokedex because the Pokemon you get. I mean, that's how, um, for example, uh, Frillish. That's how I got Frillish. It was for one of these Dynamax battles. And I just thought, oh, cool, a ghost and water type and just added it to my team. So you can build up the Pokedex from these things. In fact, I will probably... I'll, I'll do one. I'll show what one looks like. Because Hammerlock's not that far away. So, um... But I'll, I'll show what one looks like. So we'll go to this one here. You do is click on it. It says there's energy pouring out of it. Uh, like the last one. Uh, you get 300 watts from ones with a beam. And you get 50 from the ones that don't have a beam. And you can go around and you can click on all of them. So, And it tells you what you're going to face. It's a two star uh, and it's grass and poison. And uh, it will be blanked out if you don't have that Pokemon in your Pokedex. So now to me, that just looks like it should be an Oddish. And it's a grass type uh, and a poison type. So uh, I guess switch my Pokemon because it's grass. I know that uh, fire is good against it. And all you do is select. You can only select one Pokemon. And I think this is where you can like invite people uh, in your friends list, if uh, basically like the online stuff. I just click don't invite others. Uh, it does say some trainers will join the battle, and you basically will get some just compu computerized players. You get four people, and they actually can do some significant damage. Uh, I mean, don't think you just completely carry the team. Uh, you get the power to Dynamax straight off the bat, uh, so uh, I shall Dynamax, and then use a fire move because it's super effective and hits it onto the Oddish. So this battle shouldn't take that long to be honest, but I'm super effective and we're Dynamaxing so we should be able to best it straight off the bat. These are cool concepts uh, in terms of uh, to level up Pokemon and, and stuff like that. Um, catching Dynamax Pokemon uh, doesn't really do anything. They, they don't Dynamax. They're not just specifically Dynamax. I mean, look at that. I either did one-shot him or he's got a sliver of health. Um, no, he's got a sliver of health. So yeah, so they're going to do some damage and knock him out. They don't stay Dynamax when you catch him. So, um, there's nothing really special about that. And then it gives you the option to catch or don't catch. Chances are you'll catch the Pokemon. I haven't come across one yet where I haven't caught it. It's just a cool concept, um, really. And it just kind of further promotes this new Dynamax feature that they've got going on there in this game. Although I will say, the animation of the giant Pokeball catching a Dynamax Pokemon is pretty awesome. And then it goes back down to normal. So yeah, look look at this. You get experience candies, small, medium, uh, Dynamax candy, you get some berries, you get TMs. That's really good, you get TMs. Uh, I think the ones with the purple 
beam give you looks like give you a lot more rewards. And uh, it tend, and if you can do a lot of them in a row and build really build up, uh, really build up the rewards, you can just absolutely douse your team in, in those candies, and you'll just get loads of points. So I'm going to do that now. So once you've done it, the beam disappears. Um, I did find. Oh, my monitor's gone off. Okay, good. Uh, I did find. Uh, I went round and I did. Uh, I I went to every single one of these uh, with and without beams. Once I'd done the last one in this area with a beam, uh, as soon as I finished it, the beams had respawned, and that's when a uh, purple one had appeared. I don't know if the purple ones will ever uh, randomly appear or they just appear once you've completed all of them. And uh, it's just a nice way because you'll never ever run out. It'll just keep going round and round in the circle. So when I was grinding, I could have kept going. But uh, I thought I uh, should stop after a certain point. Because otherwise you're, my Pokemon were going to all evolve. And you, wouldn't, you guys wouldn't have seen anything really. I don't really want to make you guys miss as much. So yeah, you can use these. So uh, looks like Vesper Queen is our lowest level. I don't even know what the next trainer is in terms of type. But uh, Vesper Queen's our lowest level out of them. So what I'll do is I'm just going to pump all that candy into this one, into Vesper Queen. It's a 4,000 lookout. Let's see, already nearly level 30 in Vesper Queen. And then we got one medium one, and I shall use that. I'll probably use that in Car Coil. Probably not Dreadnought. Uh, I'll use it on Car Coil. Yeah. So there's 3,000 just there, and it's gone to level 31. Uh, we've got some TMs. Uh, Retaliate, we got from that. Oh, that, this is uh, Will of the Wisp. It's a fire move. Uh, the user shoots a sinister flame at the target to inflict a burn. Uh, poison jab is the one we got from that. Uh, these are TRs, sorry, not TMs. The target is stabbed with a tentacle arm or like st steeped in poison. This also may poison the target. Toxicity can learn that. Uh, if I let's go back. Uh, let's go back to my Pokemon. I want to know what moves Toxicity has. Oh yeah, we, we, yeah, we should give that to him. Defo. He's got a normal move. I want to get rid of the normal move. So we, uh, we use this item on Toxicity. To uh, it's a TR, so you can only use it once uh, on one Pokemon. Uh, no problem, so, yeah, let's be, yep, yeah. so toc Toxicity has now got two electric and two poison moves, which is how I kind of want it, cool, <clears throat> and it broke, so I can't use it again, uh, TM, doesn't say what its power is for Will of the Wisp, Oh, that's interesting. It's a fire move, but Rabu can't learn it. Yet yeah, Frillish can. Frillish is a water and ghost type. Cool. No problem. So we'll head towards Hamlock, and we will see what we got to do over there. I might as well click on these little glow dens. Oh, there's a Snorlax. I could attempt to catch it if I really wanted to, but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm uh, just going to head straight for Hamlock. Uh, saying that, I don't know. I, I wonder if the Dynamax battles are higher level in this section, like once you get over that bridge, if they're uh, a higher level in this section, because the, the Pokemon over here are slightly higher than the last area. I might do that. I might try and do. Oh, oh, cool. I might try and do one more Dynamax battle if there's one over this side. Because that isn't really a four die. I didn't really think of that before. Avoid the grass. Just can't be asked with it. 
<coughs> now see there's a house over here. Now when we were when we got lost and came in this area. We never went to this house. Don't know about you. We never went to this house. Uh, we skimmed past. So I'm actually going to come over to it now and see what it is. Because it seems an odd place. Oh, it's a nursery. Okay. I wonder if it's got a Pokemon in there that we can grab. Like the last one. That's how we got uh, Toxtricity. This seems a bit weird. There's a person stood outside it. Hello, this is the wild area branch of the Pokemon Nursery. We're just as capable as the nursery on Route 5. Don't you worry about a thing. Will you believe in a Pokemon with us today? Uh, no. Come again. Okay, so what does he say? What would you like to do? Oh, so yeah, then these guys you spend your watts, and this is where you can get uh, some TRs. I don't think. Yeah, that's what he's got. We'll repeat ball. So we've got Encore, Toxic Spikes, Howl Whip, Physical Fangs, and Indoor. So look at that, that's an accuracy of 100 and a power of 85. That's why it's so expensive. So yeah, <clears throat> that's what that is. So if you're ever wandering around yourselves, that's what that is. Awesome. What's over here? Sneasel, I have got a Sneasel. Got it from one of the uh, Dynamax battles. I'd actually probably say Dynamax battles is probably an easier way to catch Pokemon instead of having to constantly do the wild encounters because you get up to four people that you can battle with. So, you know, you've, you've got the help of like three other people along with you. And then you catch it at the end, and it's pretty much gonna. Woo! Boy! Boy! Don't be sneaking up on me doing that! Uh, yeah, you get three other people that can help you, so it's a good chance to uh, catch some Pokemon from the Pokedex. Uh, like I said, I'm not focusing on completing my Pokedex uh, during the videos, uh, not in terms of the main. Um, the main story anyway, uh, once we complete the game, I may do some videos on going around. Getting some Pokedex editions, but I'm not focusing on that too much because uh, just the time it's going to take. I will admit, those things look cool. So, just get another one of these. Cool. So, um, we'll enter Hamlock, yeah, if we can, if this guy lets us. Ah, a gym challenger. Allow me to check your gym badges. The grass badge, the water badge, and the fire badge. It's confirmed that you've defeated three gym leaders, including the leader of Motorstoke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles. Oh, god damn it. Oh, it's you. I doubt Hopper will be coming. It's only natural. After such a humiliating, de humiliating defeat, there's no way he could look the champion in the eye. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge. Here, just look at the gym badges I've already won. Thank you, Challenger BD. I can confirm you have acquired the required badges. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. This guy. This guy. This guy right here, ladies and gentlemen, is an asshole. And did he defeat Hop? I don't know what he's so proud of, because he hasn't defeated me yet. Cool, so uh, a brand new city, which is Hamlock. And judging by the feel of it, I, I wasn't there a ghost type trainer? I have a feeling this might be for here. This might be his. Or her. I can't remember if it was a male or female. This is an awesome looking place. It's, a ca it's basically a castle. And I have a feeling that it's, there's like the, the, the giant tower in the center is where we gotta go. 
This is cool. Oh my god, this is awesome. Uh, I've got a lot of money. Should we see what we can buy clothes-wise? Can we make ourselves look a little different? Welcome to our boat take. What will you buy? My monitor keeps going off for some reason and I panic because I think that the recording's going to stop. <clears throat> okay, so this we got tracksuits. I'm not really a tracksuit kind of guy. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm all done. There's nothing I really wanted. I've just noticed that there's a um, curlier. Thank you for coming by at Bull Take. I saw the people when we first came into the town, uh, the chairman's assistant and stuff, but I want to have a little look around before we do that. Hyper potions. Okay, so now we're starting to get hyper potions. Oh, drawbridge and everything. This feels like it should be a different part. Okay. That person looks like I should be able to talk to them. Can't go that way. What happens if I try and talk to this person? Excuse me, you need permission to enter the vault here in Hammerlock. Oh, that's the vault. We've spoken about the... Uh, we've heard about the vault, sorry. <clears throat> uh, before. Uh, Sonya had to go there to learn the secrets of Dynamaxing. So we're probably going to go there at some point with Sonya. Or have to meet her there, or so on and so forth. So let's have a look what's in the other direction. Ah, oh, this is probably the, my favourite place so far. I love castles, like, I've visited many castles in uh, throughout England, like Warwick Castle, uh, Manabier Castle. Just so many castles, man. Although, but there is a misconception that <laughs> some people think that England is just nothing but castles. What's up here? Oh, there's an item. Strawberry sweet. Uh, when a man, uh, okay. What are you gonna say? They say that the Gala region has lots of old buildings. I've heard that Pokemon in the wild area hide all sorts of things in their dens. They're apparently even odd Pokemon that collect TRs. Oh, sparkle. Rare candy. Oh, that's good. Rare candy can um, bump up a level of Pokemon. There it is. We'll use that now and we'll use it on... Um... <coughs> we'll use it on... Raboot. Yeah, so we instantly get into level. Cool. H Hello there. You look like someone I might trust. You see, there's someone I fancy. How old are you? And I have written him a love letter. Do you think you might deliver it for me? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm so glad I found someone like you to help me. My name is Paula. Here you are. This is the letter I want you to deliver. You obtained an old letter. A letter entrusted to you by a girl to be delivered to a boy. Strangely, it looks old to you. Deliver it to Frank for me, won't you? Frank in Balloonlia. That's who you want. Okay. A little side quest. Nah, not to worry. A pair of wine glasses. This thicker pair of wine glasses boosts a special... Power of special moves, yeah, yeah, whatever. Can't go in there. Oh, can we go in there? No, we can't go in there. Can we go in here? No. Okay. Can't go that way over. No problem. Uh, we've had a little explore. So we'll go and actually talk to Mentu now. 
and see what we have to do. I'm trying to think, there was an ice gym leader, a ghost gym leader. Can't remember what the other ones were, and I have a feeling that this should be a ghost gym leader. Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gym badges as fast as I can. Good work, BD. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, that'll help solve the problem that's been bothering you. Right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the whole... It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop, one of the champion endorsed trainers, just how outclassed he was. Yeah, but you didn't beat moi! I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. That's the spirit. It takes healthy competition to really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger BD, there is something I wish to discuss with you. Do you have a moment? I love how he's dressed to be like incognito. I hope you were listening. As you know, wishing stars are those mysterious stones that are attached to your dynamite bands. There's more to wishing stars than just making your Pokemon into giants though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right away. I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Galar region gets its energy. <coughs> Alright, cool. GG. So, do you say anything? Have you visited Hammerlock Stadium yet? Yeah, it's it's super rugged. So I'm guessing we're going into the stadium now. This is cool. Hammerlock Stadium doubles as an energy plant. Now, have a look at my tablet. I've got all the information you need on it. Oh my god. See? An easy to understand description of the energy plant. Is it? Sure. I guess the tower's acting as some sort of beat. Oh, okay. Tower's taking in energy, is going down into the plant, powering the city. First, energy is absorbed from Hamlock Stadium's tower. Then, it's changed into electricity in the underground power plant and delivered to the people throughout the region. That was my TED Talk. See you next time. Our lives and society require various types of energy sources, such as electricity, natural gas and water. My associate groups aim to improve everyone's lives by harnessing the power stored in wishing stars. Oh, it's time for me to get to work. I should get a move on before Olina decides to give me another awful earful. I suggest you head over to the vault next. Just head towards Route 6 from the stadium, and you should find the vault without any issues. Yeah, we did, and I wasn't allowed in. <clears throat> hey there! Thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the Ball Guy! It looks like you've managed to level up your team quite a bit. Well, guess what? I've got the perfect poke ball to celebrate the occasion. A level ball? Pokeball that makes it easier to catch Pokemon that are a lower level than your own Pokemon. A level ball is perfect for high level teams. The higher your Pokemon's level is compared to the opposing wild Pokemon, the easier it will be to catch it. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? Duffman. Oh, I love that voice I've given him. Jesus. Right, so we're gonna head to the vault. I don't know what's changed with why they suddenly let us in, because they, they didn't let us in last time. Unless Sonya's gonna be over there. Oh, here we go. What was his voice? Same, you're doing well, collecting gem badges. That was his voice. But Hop, did something happen with him? He was acting really odd when I ran into him. He took one look at me and immediately was like, I'm so sorry, Lee. It might be the first time I've heard him apologize for anything, and I have no idea what it was for. Maybe he's feeling down because he's had some hard lo losers in losses, losers, losses in battle. 
When you lose, you feel down in the dumps. But then there's nowhere left to go but back up. You've got to think on why it was you lost. You know, that little brother of mine, I think he might yet become a surprisingly great trainer. Blast! And look at the time! Nearly forgot my meeting with the chairman. That Orlean really lets me hear it when I'm late. Now, if only I could remember which way to go! Anyway, I'd say that you should go and say hello to Raihan while you're here. Oh, Raihan! I forgot about him! Uh, what type of trainer was he? He wasn't ice and he wasn't the ghost. Damn, I can't remember what type of trainer he was. He's probably, he might be for this place. He's the greatest rival I've got and the final hurdle you have to face in the gym challenge. Oh, so he's not going to be the one for this place. Unless this isn't the next gym. He should still be around the vault. If you hurry, it's down that way, on the route, on the way to Road 6. Awesome. Yeah, I forgot about Raihan. So he's the final gym challenger. Because they, they still said, don't forget that we still don't know who the eighth gym leader is. When we had the opening ceremony. So, um... Is that something sparkly? Yes, it was. Two attacks. You look different, mate. Oh, you are, right hand. Oh. If it isn't the trainer endorsed by the champion. Let's see. What was your name again? Ah, right, Kyle. Yeah, he has to check his phone to remember. And if Leon himself recognised your potential, then I guess uh, you'll grow into quite the trainer. All the same, though, anyone wanting to challenge the mighty right hand has to prove they're up to it by earning seven gym badges first. Ah. So you're here to see our treasures, are you? Gaining a better understanding of Pokemon by studying history certainly isn't a bad idea. I like your spirit, kid. Follow me, why don't you? Okay. Smaller than I expected. I'll even spare you one of my lead cards. Cheers. Now on you go. If it's the vault you want, it's up those stairs there. There's a guy in a dojo kit. Or karate kit. I don't know the name for it. So is this a fighting uh, arena? Uh, for Hamlock. Fighting gym leader. Do you say anything? Hamlock used to be at the very centre of the Galar region. We keep historical treasures in the vault. It's just upstairs there. What do you say? You need permission if you want to enter the vault. Already got it, mate. Don't know what you're on about. So is this like a museum? Ooh. Ooh. TM, charm. The user gazes at the target rather charmingly, making it less wary. This harshly lowers the target's attack stat. <coughs> okay, nothing up here. Sonia! I had a feeling you'd be here. Why does it look like I'm about to fight her? Oh, you're here. Brilliant, aren't they? It's great that there are still treasured tapestries that can tell us all sorts of that can tell us of Galar's history. The two youths watching a wishing star. A disaster occurs. The two bewildered youths. The youth's looking on at the sword and shield that stopped the disaster. The youth's being crowned. Hmm. These tapestries tell the story of the creation of a kingdom in Galar. Say, young Jim Challenger, what sticks out to you most about them? There's two heroes, darkest day. I think it's more the two heroes. I didn't really get a Darkest Day vibe apart from the, the second to the left tapestry. Two heroes. Bang on. The statue at the hotel in Motorstoke only had one hero, no matter how you slice it. But here, we clearly have two youths. Was there really only one hero? Or were there two? And what could have caused the Darkest Day? Things that make you go... Hmm... 
Thanks for letting me bounce some ideas off you. I think I've got some theories now. I'm going to research the tapestries a tad more, but you have your gym challenge, right? I'm cheering for you, so take a couple of these. I hope to see more of your wins. Two revives. Cheers. Yeah, this whole... I like how there's this whole underlying sort of story to the region. You know, the sword, the shield, the two heroes, the darkest day. Why there's only one statue of one hero in Motorstoke? And we don't know where the other one is. Yeah, it's very... I don't know, I like it. It's not just a standard Pokemon game. There's this whole underlying story. The tapestries in the vault depict the heroes of the Galar region's past. I suppose if we got any pro modern hero, it'd have to be our champion, Leon. Listen up. Your goal is to defeat that superstar Leon. So go conquer Route 6 and train yourself up along the way to Stow on side. Oh, are we not facing the gym? Here? Oh, are you heading to Stone Side Gym Challenger? Everyone knows that Route 6 leads onto the good old town. Oh, I thought we were going to face the, the gym here. Saying that, is Raihan the gym leader for this town and we've got to come back? I'm guessing that's what's happening. No one's really hinted that we've got to face the gym leader here. Yeah, and the two Team Yell guys are gone. Okay. So we're going to stow on side. Are you ready? I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my bike. I love it. What the hell are you? Oh, god damn. What a cute silicobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. Until it bites your ass. So our duty is team yell to make sure Silicobra gets a nice peaceful sleep. Hello there. If I promise not to wake the Pokemon, will you let me through? Of course. It'd be our pleasure. Okay. Oh, hey Kyle. You're heading to Stone Side, right? Oi, team yell. Don't suppose you'll let us through. Nah, you kids are way too loud. Can't be letting you through. And we're particularly not fond of kids wearing the Challenger band. With all your stomping around, Silicobra is sure to wake up. Right. What do you say? If we don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge to start one side. Huh. Let me think. Let's kill them. You two are way too noisy. You don't want to wake up Silicobra now, do you? You're stomping on the ground. You're the one that's going to wake him up. I swear, kids these days, well, we've got no choice. We have to send you packing. It's all for the sake of Silicobra. They're the ones making the noise. God damn it. Stunky. Okay. Uh, we'll go with Scold. Oh, I'm gonna get poisoned, aren't I? Yeah, my poison. Damn it! Well, I hope Scold burns his ass. Didn't do as much as I like. Hmm. What about Shadow Ball? killed me. I did a little more. I don't think Frillish is the right Pokemon to even fight this thing, to be honest. Ah, we're gonna absorb you. Nah, we're KO'd. Bye bye, Frillish. Okay. Uh. Car coil? Let's see how he does. Uh, he's level 29, I'm level 31, so I still sort of, I still do outrank him. 
I think what I'm gonna have to do is after this episode do another lot of grinding and then come back. So I wanna make sure I'm highly leveled. Vesper Queen leveled up. Oh, we got Lilu. Uh, we'll keep a uh, car coil out. I got no problem with that. No problem at all. Incinerate! Ha! No match for me. Rock Blast again, because I can do it for five hits. Nah, that was a crit and you still didn't kill me. One. Two. Three. And he's down. Ding, ding, ding. He fainted. Dreadnought leveled up. I really want to know when Raboot... Uh, evolves. Uh, I think Frillish and Karko will evolve as well. I gotta fight the other one, yeah. Yep. Here we go. A life heart. Incinerate! I just got clapped. What? Ancient power. Hit him! Come on. Why didn't incinerate him? Did that move that he did where he like... That like stopped it from happening. Let's try it again. Incinerate. Oh, that hit. Cool. What's your next Pokemon if you've got one? Carco leveled up to level 32. Love it. Oh, you've only got the one. No problem. Silicobra Cobra might wake up after all that ruckus. Then there's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll make these bothersome kids holler some other day. Yeah, you do that. Off you, Trot. You and Frillish were brilliant together. Really? Didn't use Frillish in the battle. Or did I? No, I didn't. I don't think I did. See? BD really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. And, I, and don't get me wrong, I could take a loss. Battling means you've got to lose sometimes. But he said that I was dragging Lee's... Oh, excuse me. But he said I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud. Being so rubbish like I was. And I just can't get those words out of my head. He's a bad guy. He's trying to get under your skin. Just... Ignore him, dude. But he's an asshole. If I'm weak, then people will think Lee's weak too. But I don't want that. I can't let Lee get dragged down. He's the unbeatable champion. I'm going to have to take some time figuring this out. See you around. For once, he is not his normal self. Wow. Oh, and that thing woke up. <laughs> he just looks at me and he's like... Morning. Slivers away. You're one of those gym challenges endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Uh-oh. My name's Opal. If you want to know more, have a look at my league card. Is she the gym cha- Oh, she's the fair- She's fairy, isn't she? She's a fairy gym cha- uh, gym trainer. Is she the one for the castle? I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. 
Oh no, she's walking away. Is she in Star One Side then? I remember the ice type. And the ghost type, because he's the one with the mask. I forgot about her. She's, I think she's, she's either fairy or psychic type. But I think, I think she's fairy. Right, we got a trainer battle. How fun. Right, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this episode here. And then I was a bit shorter than all the previous ones. Um, hang on. Save. So I know it's been a bit, a bit of a shorter episode than the others, but um, I mean we've got to go all the way up to Star One Side. I uh, don't know how long. I mean the route doesn't even look that long to be honest. But um, I know a lot didn't happen, so I do apologise. However, I want Star One Side to be its own episode. I think I'm going to do a little bit more grinding back in the wild area, especially those uh, Dynamax things because they're really good. So when I come back to the next video, you might see that maybe my Pokemon have evolved. Um, also, because we're going to get some trainer battles along the way, and uh, obviously things are going to start getting higher and higher level as we're going on, and I just want to sort of just one shot get through them all. Don't worry, I'm not going to go any further than the point I already am without you guys. All I'm going to do is go back into that wild area and literally grind for about two hours. So, um, when I come to these training battles that's going to happen on the way to Star One Side, I should be able to just one shot them because we're already coming up to about f nearly 50 minutes, and it's probably going to take um, some time on Route Six, and then we got to be in Star One Side, and um, there's probably I don't know. I've noticed that in the town so far, there's not much to actually do. You get into the town, you like you do the battle straight away. That's it. So. Thank you everybody for watching, hope you've enjoyed watching it as I've enjoyed playing it. My name is Luffy, this has been The Game Zone, Bye bye